Elon's been telling us exactly how Tesla will solve autonomy for years, and today we will watch those videos. From RoboTaxi to the coming chat GPT moment, did Elon predict it all? Back in 2019, Elon laid it all out. RoboTaxis, million mile batteries, no steering wheels, and a $30,000 profit per car. Now that vision is starting to come true. So going after, going over just like Tesla, Tesla master plan, obviously we've made a bunch of forward-looking statements, as they call it. Um, <laughs> what we're going to do this year uh, is we're going to reach combined production of 10,000 a week between SX and 3. Next year, we'll expand the product line with Model Y and Semi, and we expect to have the first operating robo-taxis next year with no one in them. Not in all jurisdictions because we won't have regulatory approval everywhere, but I, I, I'm confident we'll have at least regulatory approval somewhere literally next year. So any customer will be able to add or remove their car to the Tesla network. So we expect this to operate um, it's similar, it's sort of a, like a combination of maybe the Uber and Airbnb model, and Tesla would uh, take 25 or 30% of the revenue. In places where there aren't enough people sharing their cars, we would just have dedicated uh, Tesla vehicles. When you use the car, we'll show you our ride-sharing app. So you'll be able to, be able to summon the car from the parking lot, get in and go for a drive. So you just take the same Tesla app that you currently have, we'll just, do, we'll just update the app and add a summon, summon Tesla or, or commit your car to the fleet. Potential for smoothing out the demand distribution curve and having the car operate at a much higher utility than an all car operates. We'll do Model 3 S, S3 and X as taxis, but um, we, we made an important change to our leases. So if you lease a Model 3, you don't have the option of buying it at the end of the lease. So the current cost of Ro Model 3 Robo Taxi is less than $38,000. We expect that number to improve over time. Uh, the new battery pack that's probably going to production next year is designed explicitly for a million miles of operation. And at some point, you won't need steering wheels or pedals, and we'll just delete those. So as, as, as these things become less and less important, we'll just delete parts. Just, they, won't, they won't be there. Two years from now, we, we, we make a car that has no steering wheels or pedals. And if we need to accelerate that time, we can always just delete parts, easy. Okay, maybe it ends up being $25,000 or less. So we're currently at four and a half miles per kilowatt hour, but we can, we'll improve that to five and beyond. We've got the, the vehicle design and manufacturing, we've got the computer hardware in-house, we've got the in-house software development um, the, and, and AI, and we've got by far the biggest fleet. If you say, what would be the probable gross profit from a single robo-taxi? Um, we think probably something on the order of $30,000 per year. So in nominal dollars, that would be, you know, a little over $300,000 over the course of 11 years. It might be higher. I think these consumptions are actually relatively conservative. By the middle of next year, uh, we'll have over a million Tesla cars on the road with full self-driving hardware, feature complete, uh, at a reliability level that we would consider uh, that no one needs to pay attention. We will have over a million robo-taxis on the road. The fleet wakes up with an over-the-air update. That's all it takes. People will be able to take over and should be able to take over from the robo-taxi. Uh, and then once regulators are comfortable with us not having a steering wheel, we'll just delete that. And for cars that are, on the, that are in the fleet, uh, you know, obviously with the permission of the owner, if it's owned by somebody else, uh, we would just uh, take the steering wheel off and put a cap where the steering wheel currently touches. In the future, consumers will want to outlaw people driving their own cars because it's unsafe. Uh, if you think of like elevators, elevators used to be operated on a, on a big lever, like you go up and down the floor and there's like a big relay, and you had elevator operators, but then periodically they would uh, get tired or drunk or something, and then that turn the lever at the wrong time and sever somebody in half. Um, so now you do not have tele uh, elevator operators. And it would be quite alarming if you went into an elevator that had a big lever that could just move between floors arbitrarily. So there's just buttons. And in the long term, again, not a value judgment. <laughs> I'm not saying I want the world to be this way. I'm saying consumers will most likely demand it that the, the, the people are not allowed to drive cars. R really fundamental message that consumers should be taking um, today is that it's financially insane to buy anything other than a Tesla.
At Cyber Rodeo 2022, Elon didn't just tease the future, he announced it. A world shifting robotaxi, a mind blowing Tesla bot, and production scale no human company has ever achieved. Let's go back to the moment Elon changed the game again. So, <laughs> what's next? Uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna spill all the beans right now. <laughs> But what I can say, what I can say is we're going to move to just truly massive scale. Uh, scale that uh, no company has uh, ever achieved in, in, in the history of humanity. Um, and it, and it, we need, that has to happen in order to transition the world to sustainable energy. So massive scale, full self-driving. Uh, there's going to be a dedicated robo-taxi that's going to look pretty... Fruit, fair, so uh, it's going to look, it's gonna look uh, uh, quite futuristic. Uh, and, and of course, we've got the Tesla robot, Optimus. Uh, this is, uh, I, think, I, think, I think Optimus will, will obviate what uh, it even means, what an economy even means. So uh, it'll be able to, you know, basically anything that, that uh, humans don't want to do, Optimus will do it. Um, and it's, uh, it's going to be an age of abundance. And so. Uh, it's, I think it's, 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 it's maybe hard to imagine it, but as you, as you see Optimus develop, um, and we're obviously going to make sure it's safe, um, no Terminator stuff or that kind of thing, um, but it's, it's really going to transform the, the world, uh, I think, to a degree even greater than the cars. Um, and, and then we've got, so, and, and I think, I think we, we have a shot at being in, um, in, in production, uh, for version one of, of Optimus, hopefully next year. So, and uh, in, in the and then Cybertruck is coming next year. We'll be in production with Cybertruck next year. Uh, we'll be in production with the Roadster and with Semi. So that's all all coming. So we got to uh, this year is all about scaling up. And then uh, next year, there's going to be a massive wave of, of new products. At the 2022 so. Q1 earnings call, Elon dropped a bomb, a steering wheel free robo taxi optimized for autonomy and built to crush cost per mile. It's not a concept. It's coming fast and it could be Tesla's biggest growth driver yet. We're also working on a new vehicle that I alluded to at the Giga Texas opening. Uh, which is a, a dedicated robo taxi that's uh, highly optimized for uh, autonomy, uh, meaning it would not have steering wheel or pedals. Um, and th there are a number of other innovations ar around it that I think are quite exciting, um, but it's fundamentally uh, optimized for it's trying to achieve the, the lowest uh, fully considered uh, cost per mile or cost per kilometer. Uh, you know, it, it, it counting everything, um, and and so it's I think going to be a very powerful product, uh, with, where we aspire to reach volume production of of that in 2024. So, I think that 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 really will be a massive driver of Tesla's uh, growth, uh, and we, we remain on track to reach volume production of the Cybertruck uh, next year. Last 2023, Elon says Tesla's chat GPT moment is coming when millions of cars suddenly drive themselves. And he's dead serious. Tesla's AI is so far ahead, he doesn't even know who's in second. You showed those robots. I mean, I can imagine what they conceivably could do when powered by AI. But I'm also curious, because you've certainly been concerned, what percentage do you give the chance that it will destroy humanity? Well, the, the advent of artificial general intelligence is um, called a singularity because uh, it is so hard to predict what will happen after that. Um, it, 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 I think it's, it's, it's very much a double-edged double sword. I think in, it's, there's, there's, a, there's a strong probability that it will make life much better uh, and that we'll have an age of abundance. Um, and, and there's some chance that it goes wrong. Um, and... Uh, destroys humanity. Hopefully that chance is small, but it's not zero. Um, and so I think we want to 
take whatever actions we can think of to minimize the probability that AI goes wrong. And you've called for a pause, along with a number of other people. Yes, I, I, look, when I called for the, yeah, a, friend, a friend of mine, Max Tegmark, is a physicist at, at uh, MIT, um, you know, wanted me to sign on to the letter. And it's, it's like, I, I, I knew it would be futile. Uh, it is futile. There's it's no, futile. There's no, I, I knew it would be futile. I just want to call it like, it's one of those things, well, for the record, I recommended that we pause. Okay. Uh, did, did I think we would, there would be a pause? Absolutely not. <laughs> so, but um, you're, you're starting uh, XAI, I, th I think that's what you're calling it, or some new AI effort. Um, well, how is it going to be different than OpenAI or Alphabet? This, this, is, this is not the time to... to uh, this, uh, it's not, I, I, we don't have enough time, and, and, and nor is this the moment to really talk about it. Okay. Um, we, we will have uh, a launch event, and, and we'll explore the, the issues uh, in, in more detail. But um, I, I should say that, that uh, and, I, and I mentioned this at the shareholder meeting, that um, Tesla has actually um, a, a tremendous capability in real-world AI. Yes. In fact, it is far ahead of, of anyone. Any I know people actually on Twitter prior to our interview were saying, you know, he never gets asked about how advanced his AI is a Tesla. You always talk about the other names. Tesla AI is, uh, like I said, by, it's like, is it, there's not, I'm not even sure who's second, frankly. Um, why is that? Why, then what, it, what are people not understanding about what you have, and why are we talking so much about ChatGPT and generative AI at OpenAI and what Microsoft's going to be able to do with it, and not about Tesla? I don't know. I mean, people do talk about it online. Um, I think I think Tesla will have sort of a chat GPT moment. Maybe the, if if not this year, I'd say no later than next year. Um, Wait, say that again. I'm sorry. You're, you're going to have a sort of a sort of chat GPT moment. Oh, you will. In terms of suddenly it will. Yeah, suddenly three million cars will be able to drive themselves right. with no one. Right. It goes back to that. Right. Yeah, and then five million cars, and then ten million cars. At Tesla's 2024 shareholder meeting, Elon dropped a hint: new products are coming. They might not look much at a first, but he says just wait. Obviously, we've got some new new products that we're working on uh, under the covers, uh, <laughs> and uh, I think these these are um, I think these, these are going to be pretty special. So, uh, and, and, you know, some of them I, I think people at, maybe at first may think, oh, it's not going to be that amazing, but just wait, it will be. So. We just watched Autonomy Day, Cyber Rodeo, and Elon's latest teasers. Tesla's vision has been clear for years, and now it's finally happening. June 22nd isn't just a product launch, it's the start of a transportation revolution. The robo-taxi moment is here. Are you ready?